Of course, bartenders make good therapists. In this particular case, tips they raise will go toward real life therapies in our community. Those faces you see behind the bar may look familiar. It's local celebrities. They're going to be the ones slinging drinks in Down One Bourbon Bar's charity bartending challenge. Christian Hattemaker is here. Uh, Hattemer, excuse me, is making a cocktail called I'm Your Huckleberry. We're going to get to that in just a second. But starting tomorrow night, and then what is it for like the next three Wednesdays? The next three Wednesdays, we're going to have uh, Damaris Phillips in tomorrow night and Ryan Rogers, and then later on, Robbie Valentine from U of L fame is going to be down. With his wife throwing his, down? Yes, <laughs> raising money for, uh, I think that they're doing. Um, Leukemia uh, lymphoma, leukemia did lymphoma. I read? Right, yeah. Okay. And, uh, so each, <clears throat> each set of people have picked a, a charity and picked something that, that was really important to them. It was an effort on our part to kind of just, we've been open for a year and we wanted to start giving back to the community that's given so much to us. This is a great way to do so. it. Indeed. And Robbie, of course, can dunk ice cubes very well, but Damaris will be the one to watch because she's very mm -hmm. creative with ingredients. She is, but you know, sometimes those chefs, you know, they're good at the cooking side of things, but can they really do the cocktail Let's thing? Just so that'll be, see. That'll be well, fun to kind of You're going to have an expert, though, helping them, I'm assuming. Well, you know, he is a chef as well. So this, this first set is two chefs behind the bar. And so. You know, it's it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Bartenders be will be lining up to go see. It's not so easy, is right. it? It's, right. It, right. It is not. But you know, I think that I'm a chef as well, and I think that you know, for us, that whole bar thing, we love bars because we're chefs, and you know, being behind the bar is a lot like cooking, and so it's it's the best mix of everything. So what you making for us again? So I'm your Huckleberry. I'm your Huckleberry. This is Ryan Rogers from Feast Barbecue Drink. So we're going to start off with uh, Old Fitzgerald Bourbon. You know, we are a bourbon bar, so we love doing the bourbon cocktails. Couple ounces of that, and then he brought this uh, fancy huckleberry liqueur in. Huh. So we do a little. So we measure everything, um, and it's a little slower. Does that huckleberry pack a punch? Is that really it's, a sweet burst? It's, it's sweet, but but he obviously wanted a little sweet because we got a little simple syrup in there as well. Um, so we're just going to take, shake that a little bit. We've learned to stand back when this happens. I was going to have you guys shake it, but then oh, decided it. We'd yeah. be a mess for the rest of the day. So each person, your celebrity bartenders, are they coming up with their own special drink to serve, or they will they serve whatever patrons ask for? You know, both. Um, they've each come up with a, a cocktail of their own. Um, but, you know, we are also a full-service bar, and so they're going to be back there trying to sling. So we finish off with a little bit of uh, lemon peel. Oh, well, hello, everybody. You going to try it? First thing in the morning. It's too Maybe early. Too early. Is it too early? Pre-lunch. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll try a little. Yeah, Rachel too. can go. I'll try a little. Uh -huh. Wow. That's good. It's got a good flavor. Yeah. Kind of, you, you still get a little bit of the bourbon, but all of that you do, fruit but and it's, everything. It, yeah. yeah. But it, it really makes that bourbon nice. just a little bit lighter. Give us Ooh, an idea nice. of the most popular drinks in, in, that you've learned here in the last year. What's Louisville about? Old Fashions and Manhattans. Louisville is a very, very uh, straightforward, conservative town as far as cocktails go, and there's, there's all sorts of great mixologist kind of people and bartenders in town, but we sell twice as many Old Fashions as we do anything You mean else. men to women, the ratio is about equal, or is it? You know, we see more and more women drinking bourbon. Um, originally, you know, you would have a guy having bourbon and a woman having wine or right. anything, but more and more women are drinking And I will tell you, you all have converted me on this show. I really had never had much experience with bourbon, started testing different things right. you all made on this show, and now I love it. That's great. Who well, knew? you know, it's, that's it's, why she wants <laughs> to her hand right. Old fashioned is now my drink of choice, but I will tell. That's the way Rachel walks in every morning. Your, you guys ready to put on a show? I'm your Huckleberry. May have me hooked Pretty here. Pretty good. Well, come that's on down great. tomorrow night and, and, Ryan will be making this. All one. right, very good. Well, the charity bartending challenge kicks off tomorrow night at seven at Down One Bourbon Bar, 321 West Main Street. That continues the next two Wednesdays. Charities that benefit include Star Duck. Star yeah, Duck. that's their know. charity. That's yeah. very cool. I like that. Cosair Children's Hospital and of course the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society we mentioned. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Real women can drink bourbon. Terry. Oh, I got oh, you, yeah. sister. <laughs>